this is my Stupid. Hey beautiful, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, hi, my name is Alexis Jada and welcome. So in today's video, I'm going to be unboxing my BoxyCharm for April. So I received a BoxyCharm box in PR and I already did a video on that one, an unboxing and a try on. If you guys would like to see that one, I will link it down and up here. You guys can check that one out. And I did purchase my own BoxyCharm box and my premium BoxyCharm and I wanted to do a video and all that good stuff. So let's go in with the box first well this one first this is how it is inside it's a lot different than how my other one looked so in here this is the benefit the professional hydrate primer i have not tried it out yet so can't wait to try this out and then we also got the elemis superfood calm hydration juice Ooh, that sounds good super hydrating gel all right, it's loaded with vitamin pack superfoods and 75% organic aloe. This gel moisturizer delivers instant cooling hydration, helping to soothe dehydrated or sensitive skin. The vegan friendly formula moisturizes and improves the look of skin texture for more even and calm balanced looking complexion. Nice, so we will definitely put this to use today. And I also got the Illuminati Gel Paint Electric Pink. And then I got the Iconic London. This is the Plumping Lip Gloss, goes for $26. So I will put this aside for you guys. And then this as well, this is the Iconic Illuminator. And you guys see me use this in the previous video, or if you did not, I'll put a clip over here of me using this. This is super, super like boom in your face. So I have this one and I will be giving that to you guys as well. So I'll be putting that there. That's everything in this box right here. Now going into the premium Charm. It says right here, Charm Premium. All right. Ooh, what is this? This is the HOA Replenishing Cream. Grapefruit seed and avocado. Firm and hydrate and repair. Okay. Ooh, another skincare product. It says this is proven to diminish the appearance of dryness, wrinkles, rough texture while it deeply nourishes mature skin. And this one goes for $69. Damn, that is a lot for dry, mature skin. I'ma still use it. All right, next thing. Ooh, we have the nude stick. Plush paints, this one's really pretty. This is a really pretty shade, I like this shade. All right, we're gonna be putting this to use today as well. And then in here we got a Stila Glitter and Glow. I got the shade Rose Gold Retro. Ooh, remember when these first came out, everyone was like obsessed. So, ooh, look at this. That's a pretty color. That is a really, really nice color. And then we got the Wander Beauty Mile High Club Volume and Length Mascara. Hmm. And then, what is this? Ooh, this is pretty nice. So these are the Crystal Clear Three Piece Brush Collection. The Ultra Soft Cruelty Free Crystal Clear Brush Collection to create a flawless canvas for makeup and effortlessly applying your favorite skincare, foundation, complexion products, highlighters, and powders. Definitely feels really, really soft. Can't wait to put that to use. And then we got, I sound kind of disappointed because I wanted the Manny MUA, the one that he, um, I cannot think of the name of it. This one right here, that's the one I wanted in my freaking premium box. So I was like, you know what? I want that palette. I want that palette and all the other stuff that's gonna come in the boxy charm box. But I got this one. And this is the Pure and Bar Barbie Endless Possibilities. Now it's cute. It goes for how much? $34. This is the outside. You get, oh, it matches my shirt. Really, really cute. But, well, tank top. <sighs> I'm not really a huge fan, you guys. Like, to be honest, like, I'm not a huge fan. I would have had so much more fun with Manny. Like, I bet you there's, like, a lot of people who like this, huh? But, you know, I don't know why. I'm just like, mm. But I will put it to use and I will probably let my Nana play with it. Um, the packaging is beautiful though. Look at that. It's really, really pretty packaging. Packaging is gorgeous. It definitely screams Barbie vibes for sure. Barbie, Barbie, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know because I like these colors, you know, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the heck it is. I'm just being a brat, I guess. So that is everything in my Boxy Charm Premium. Now let me zoom you guys in. Let's create a look. Let's play with the goodies 
and all that good stuff. So I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to use the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer and I'm using Natural Beige and I'm just going to apply that just on my lid and I'm going to use that as a eyeshadow base. I will be using my Makeup Shack T29 and I'm just going to just buff that in on my lid going in very gentle. So I'm going to go in with this color first. They don't have any names on the back or front. Me, I'm not, I don't really need names if the names are there. Okay, cool, because most of the time I'm just pointing to it, you know? So I'm gonna go in with the Makeup Shack T59 and I'm just going to just... Okay, I was like, wait, what the heck? There's nothing there. And I'm just going to just lightly just apply that in my crease right there all oh, right there i wasn't a huge huge barbie fan if anything it was more like the brats and stuff like that like that was my jam i do like the barbie stuff though um like the shirts like oh i'm barbie you know that kind of thing that stupid catchy song that everyone and the mama would sing but i wasn't really like huge into barbies and to think of it, either is Angelica. I have bought her Barbies, but she wasn't really like that much into the whole Barbie thing, you know? She was just like, mm, okay, cool. If anything, I feel like Giovanni is the one who plays with the action figures more than any of the other boys. But um, yeah, Barbies, no, no, no. Bratz dolls, yes, they were cool. Okay, so. This is gonna be like super simple. Like super simple, this look is gonna be complete. This is the other palette that I received in my April BoxyCharm that I had mentioned earlier. And this palette, I feel like, oh my gosh, yes, was freaking amazing. I really liked it. So I'm gonna grab that one, you know, since it's, I'm still using BoxyCharm products. I'm gonna go in with wax paper and I'm just going to apply that underneath right there. Just so it's not so naked. And some of you got this palette, so it's kind of like, ooh, mixing it up. Everyone gets to like play, you know? All right, so I am going to go in with this shade right here with a wet and wild blending brush. And shout out to you guys for letting me know that they sell this blending brush separately. Thank you guys so much. So now I can have more because I really, really like this one. So yeah, thank you guys for letting me know. You guys were like, yeah, they sell them individually. And I'm like, oh my God. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so much. So, I already got me some. I was gonna wait, honestly, until the next holiday kit and I was going to buy the kit just for that brush, but now I don't have to and I save me some monies. I hate when companies do that sometimes where it's like they only release like a shade or a lipstick or something in a collection and it's like you have to buy the whole thing just to get that one thing you want, you know? Kind of like the macarons, macaroons that I get at um, Sam's Club. Like there's just one flavor that I like, but they don't sell it individually. You have to buy the whole pack. That sucks. Not even giving this palette like a fair chance, but I'm just like, oh. I'm gonna go in with this shade right here and I'm just going to apply it. On oh, that's pretty on my lid. Oh, that is pretty. It's like, oh, just see how nice that looks? Simple, but nice. So I'm just gonna go in with just a clean eyeshadow brush, fluffy eyeshadow brush. I'm gonna go in with the Stila. This one is the Rose Gold Retro. And I'm just going to apply a little bit to the back of my hand. And it's so pretty, you guys, look at that. Now for eyeliner, I will be going in with the Essence Super Precise Eyeliner Long Lasting Waterproof. All right, so let's test out this, the Wonder Mile High Club Volume and Length Mascara. I swear we have tried out a uh, Wonder Beauty mascara before. Maybe I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure we have. Yeah, it's coating. It's not like dry, like right, right away, but it lets you like coat them. And then as like I stepped back a little bit and stuff like that, you know, like how I did the other eye, it kind of got dry, so good so that means we're going to be able to coat and coat and coat and coat volume and length mascara all right not mad about it i want to slap someone with my lashes today <laughs> 
yeah, I'm not happy with how the eyes look right now. I know not all the boxes are gonna be like, oh my god, I'm still in love. <sighs> but I feel like the eyes frame the freaking face and I did not come through with the eyeshadow look. But that's okay. Now let's go into the Elemis Superfood Hydration Juice. I'm excited. Elemis is so good. So. Ooh, it does smell like, like lime juice, like fresh squeezed. Lime. No, let's see. Yeah, it does. Ooh, that feels so good. Oh my gosh. I put on a lot, <laughs> but that feels really good. I'm just gonna work it in. Really hydrate my face, and then I'll go in with like a drying foundation just to kind of like work with that. Oh. I always put whatever's left over, like on my hands. So let's go in with my Fenty Beauty. This is a no filter foundation. Let's go in with 280. I'm going to apply it to the back of my hand. I always do that. My mom pointed that out that sometimes I go high pitch. I'm like, hello. I don't know why. We're here freaking singing. Pinche tonta. All right. And then I'm just going to just dab this on. Let me see how this feels. Ooh, and it gives you like a tacky feeling after so this is going to be perfect for on top <sighs> fenty has like a certain smell to it that every time i apply it it takes me back to the first time i applied it isn't that weird like takes me back to the very first time i love when certain scents do that like there's this one scent that I cannot figure out what it is, but it reminds me of like a childhood scent. And every time I smell it, I'm like, oh my God. And I just like, I get like giddy and happy because of that certain scent. But I can't figure out what it is, like what it is. But it smells delicious. I'll tell you that. Ooh. That was a good idea going with that really good hydrator. All right, look at that. Look at that coverage. Ooh. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Ooh. And then right here. This, I'm going to fix. Watch. And we're going to clean it up with our skincare. All right, you guys. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, I'll leave my Instagram handle here. I'm going to show you guys that I'm going to stay on top of the skincare. Like, I'm pretty good at staying on top of it but i mean like showing you guys you know so that we are in this together oh i didn't even tell you guys the sponge i'm using is the wet and wild i should have used a ColourPop sponge so that i can finish that review that i want to do for you guys of using the different sponges in that kit that i got but this is a wet and wild sponge and this sponge is so good you guys and it's so soft i like sponges to feel soft like when you're using them it just feels like everything's just blending in I should have used one of the brushes to apply my serum, but I don't look at that. Since I'm using Fenty foundation, I'm going to go in with the Fenty concealer. This is in 260. Ooh, we're going full coverage today. Where are you going? The Zala. And I'm going to go with my Smashbox foundation stick and contour. And I'm going to go in with uh, number 2.4. And I'm just going to use this to apply the contour you can still find these at like tj maxx sometimes ross gonna make it even i hate that i have to make things even i hate that like i have to go back and like double touch something so that the other one doesn't feel left out even though it's not a real thing <sighs> i'm using the boxy charm brushes that we received one time then i'm gonna go in with my wet and wild beauty sponge and we're just going to Blend this out. Bing, chica, bing, chica, bing, bing, bing. Been singing that to the kids for like, I don't know how long. So now I'm gonna use this because remember the other time when I used it, I was like, eh, I don't really see a difference. Let's see if I see a difference now. This is the Too Faced Turn Up the Light Glue, um, Turn Up the Light Complexion Enhancing Highlighting Palette. So it says right here, this is to like give you like that soft, like candlelight look. And I want to see if it's going to give me that under eye like 
okay? And I am using an Alamar brightening brush, and we got this in our BoxyCharm too. So I'm gonna go in with soft focus, and I'm just gonna go under there and just pat. And I don't know if we'll see a difference or not. Is it just a gimmick? I shouldn't have done the other side so we could have done a comparison. Ben the Do you guys see a difference? I don't. I don't I don't really see a like oh my god. Oh my god. I don't see a difference you guys. I don't. It doesn't wow me like how I've used some other setting powders and I'm like, oh that looks nice. Didn't do that. So I'm gonna go in with my airspun loose setting powder and this is in translucent so we're gonna go in and we are just going to set my face i'm still going to set my face because i could not see a difference <coughs> man i can't wait to go <laughs> this set reminded me of my grandma oh forgive me but it, it really does um so i can't wait to go to texas so i can spend time with my grandma and tambien I want to do her um, her makeup. I've never done my grandma's makeup, so I really want to get yelled at, you know? And I want to just do her makeup and spend some time with her. I can't wait till we're done being on lockdown. <sighs> I'm done being scared and I want to travel and all that good stuff, you know? Now I am going to go in with the Essence Matte Bronzing Palette. This is so freaking good, you guys. So I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. We're gonna use the brush that came in the box. See how nice that is? And now I'm just gonna go. I don't wanna add too much, but just enough. And then I'm gonna go in with this brush right here. This is the Morphe M164 brush. And I'm going to pick up this shade right here, the lighter shade, and I'm gonna use that one to contour this nose. All right. I'm gonna use this one and then we're just going to just put this in my face all right now i'm gonna go in with the nyx sweet cheeks glow creamy powder let's just use this one I'm going to go in Okay, so now I'm going to go in with Iconic Prep Set and Glow. Didn't apply enough, so I'm just going to spray the back of my sponge. And we applied a lot of powder to Fan Bam. You guys are going to be like, this is repetitive, but we might have some new Fan Bam. So they're probably like, what the heck are you doing, you know? So this is going to, wow, you guys are my buns, huh? Um, this is going to soak up all of that powder that we laid down, because we laid down a lot of powder. So I'm just going to soak all that powder and so that everything looks nice and at the same time we're setting our face i did pink on my last boxy charm so let's let's do purple so i'm gonna go with the morphe hickle lip liner but i'm gonna be using this as eyeliner use your makeup however you want all right now i'm gonna go with the makeup check t58 and i'm going to pick up this shade right here really pretty and sparkly all right now i'm gonna go with my airspun loose face highlighter and this one is in glow for good gold glow glow for gold and i'm just going to use what is on i'm gonna go in with the beauty junkies blending brush Pick some up on here, and then I'm just going to just tap that right here. So our whole skin's just gonna be glowing. We're just gonna be ooh, taking some nice shots from the couch, outside of the backyard. All that good stuff. Going in with the Morphe Bite Me Lip Liner. Now we're gonna go in with the Nude Stick nude stick and oh, I thought I broke it that was not what I was expecting okay I was expecting it to be a little bit more moth it's really easy to like feather it in close to the lip line because the lip liner because it's so nice and velvety and matte that it just glides on there and just gets it okay this is my <laughs> stupid. Okay, so <laughs> this is it. It's not 
that bad. Okay, it's not that bad. Did I want a different palette? Yes. Am I gonna have to buy the Manny Moi palette? Yes. Manny MUA. I say Moi because this was. So I'm gonna go do my hair and I'll be right back. So I am done. Everything is finished. Ta da da. Ta da ding. Ta da da. So what I have to say, I'm kind of like iffy. Iffy, iffy, iffy. Oh, you guys, I'm just like super mad about this. I'm like, like, if you got this, let me know, tag me, leave your videos down below so I can watch them to see what you created with them. Send me pictures. I wanna see what you did with this. I don't know, I don't, yeah, uh-uh. I'm just like, mm -mm 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 -mm. There's only two mattes, the rest are shimmer, and then we have that glitter. It, there wasn't a, there, it, it wasn't enough. Yeah, I don't even wanna pick up another palette like I did and play with it again. Cause I'm just like, uh, no, like to me, this is like a hard pass. Yeah, I'm just still very salty about the Manny palette. If you guys were one of the lucky ones who got the Manny MUA palette, let me know. I wanna be celosa right now. Let me know, let me know, let me know. I didn't try this one. I definitely will let you guys know how I like that one. I liked how this applied. It felt really, really good. And I feel like it mixed really, really well with the Fenty foundation since Fenty is a very like drying foundation and it just makes my skin look so good. So I'm glad with that. The Stila, I like their uh, liquid eyeshadows very very nice the new lipstick went on so freaking pretty so no complaints about that I already tried these in a previous video I really like them very creamy goes on like butter and really makes an eye look pop the wonder mascara I like it nothing too like oh my god it's the best because there is better drugstore mascaras this one was it's pretty all right I don't have long enough lashes for it to go oh my god but it did do its job. It did coat them really good. I can see the where I can get carried away and keep coating, keep coating, cause it can just keep. <laughs> but right at the bat, if I'm just like, you know, like which one would I, would I, you know, this one over an Essence, this one over an LA Girl, this one over the L'Oreal, this one over the Too Faced, like, eh, nah, it's not like the best. You know what I mean? And then for the brushes, the brushes. The brushes were nice, they were really, really soft. I love that we get brushes in the BoxyCharm. It helps us build up our collection, you know, that we already have. And my collection has grown a lot since BoxyCharm. So yeah, were these my favorite? Not like my favorite favorite. We have had like better like Alamar and stuff like that, uh, it Cosmetics, uh, even BoxyCharm's um, brushes are a lot better than these ones. We've had Luxie. These ones were, they're all right, you know? The price that they have in here, like for like how much they go for, like $40 for a three piece, not that impressed. Not like, oh my gosh, you know? And then this I haven't tried yet, but I'll definitely do an Instagram video for you guys. You guys know I love doing a lot of my skincare on my Instagram. Follow me if you guys don't already. I do a lot of skincare on my Instagram. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this BoxyCharm try on unboxing makeup video let me know down below if you guys enjoyed and let me know what you guys got in yours because i know it's about time that everyone has probably got their boxy charm right now so let me know what you guys got and yeah give me a big thumbs up if you guys enjoyed te quiero mucho besos a todos and i'll see you guys in my next video bye